Okay, so we've been getting a good look at just how dangerous the conditions still are, especially in some corners of our area. So we're going to send it out to our Jenny Young, who's live in Mobile 6. And where are you traveling right now, Jenny? Jeff, Elizabeth, we're parked at Vacuna and 49th Street. I've got to show you this in front of us. This is what is so dangerous and we're on a neighborhood street, not a main street. Look at this. We're kind of slushing around here because it's slushy. It's icy, but this down power line, this is what is so dangerous and they are not all taped off like this. This but you got to stay away from those. That's what PGE, PGE says. So right now they have 2,500 PG, PGE workers trying to get the power back on. And in this neighborhood, I don't know if everybody's without power because I see some porch lights on. So I'm not sure about uh, this particular neighborhood, but you know, as we've been reporting thousands of people without power, PGE said last night that they have 200 miles of transmission lines down. Those transmission lines are the lines that carry the power from the, the generating plant to the substation. So just a lot of work for these people. Um, and you know, you just really, your heart goes out to them as they, as they work to get this stuff back on. And those linemen were told a lot of them have families and friends who don't have power right now. So of course they know what that feels like. Jeff Elizabeth, you know, the primary streets are getting better. Uh, it's easier to drive on those primary streets, but it's the neighborhood streets, the smaller streets that you have to watch out for. Of course, those trees and those down power lines. We'll check back in with you guys here shortly. Sending it back to you. All right, drive safe out there, Jenny. I talked to a lineman today, Elizabeth, who says we've never seen anything like this. The mm. volume of people right. who are without electricity, the damage from all the downed lines. So we're continuing to follow that story closely.